talked a lot about the development activities that our teams are doing, but now I want to narrow in on the actual components of the overall platform, desktop, online, and server. I'll start with desktop. Desktop is basically professional GIS, and from the surveys, I know something about you. Virtually everybody in the room is using desktop. It consists of two basic applications, ArcMap and ArcGIS Pro. ArcMap will continue to be supported and enhanced long into the future. On the other hand, we are investing heavily in ArcGIS Pro, which ultimately will replicate the features and functions of ArcMap. These run side by side. But the ArcGIS Pro is implemented in 64-bit architecture and implements many, many ideas that you've asked us to, to do. Things like side-by-side -side 2D and 3D, multiple map layouts, etc. Here in the last year, we've introduced a lot of new things like smart mapping, better editing, KML support, and so on. What's coming in the next year is strong support for parcels and utilities, grids and graticules, big data integration, the stuff that Suzanne showed. So from my pro, I can hit those clusters of big machines and other things. The second main foot on this uh, pillar, on this uh, component of the overall system is ArcGIS Online. And this is hosted GIS. Here we've done a lot of work in the last year. Again, introducing smart mapping tools, vector tile support, social logins, and so on. This system is trending. <laughs> there are now over 3 million users that subscribe to it. In the last year, there's been over 94 billion maps made from it, and now it's about 10 billion a month. We expect about 13 billion by the end of the year. That's a lot of maps, actually. And this isn't just the system making things. You guys are sharing 6.2 billion, a million, not billion, not quite billion yet. M maps or data sets or <laughs> apps uh, have been shared. And in terms of data downloads, just since the beginning of the year, open data has been about 15 million downloads. And those are impressive numbers to me. Maybe you guys don't care, but I, I mean, yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> What's coming is improved search and data management tools, some of the raster analytics that I showed earlier, and as we reference the digital globe and lots of other new content. The third component is the ArcGIS server. And here you can see many of the same in advances that we're making in the server product that have been made in the online product. This is not a coincidence. These two technologies are coming together. However, server can be deployed on premises or in your own cloud or in the open cloud. The big thing I want you to notice here is the, the major advances that we're making in readiness and availability, supporting high availability, disaster recovery, and increased security, protecting the data you guys really care about. What's coming in the next year is a whole bundle of things. Enhanced web GIS support, improved scalability. This is a big one so I can implement ArcGIS server on not just, a few, not just a few machines, but on complete distributed computing environments with dozens or hundreds or even thousands of machines. This is, this is going to be exciting. If you tie that concept together with everything else I've been talking about, you start to get this realization that server-based computation of very large data sets in real time is not only possible, it's basically inevitable. Another piece of work that's going on is portal replication. This supports some of that connections between organizations. Many of you have implemented portals and servers in different departments, and you wish to share the portal information, layers and map scenes from portal to portal across your organization or like in the LA case, 
the metadata content in a portal can be replicated externally to a community GIS so that as transactions happen in one place, there's sharing that occurs across the entire enterprise and ultimately the entire community. Beyond ArcGIS, ESRI supports a series of specialized products. These provide specialized uh, applications for particular communities, including geodesign, 2D and 3D planning, also decision support by community analyst and, and, and business analyst, and then very specific domain areas like roads and highways and, and pipelines, bathymetry, and SDI portals. These are specialized areas that complement and extend the basic capabilities. They'll be not interesting to everybody in the audience, but certainly interesting to some of you.